So he comes in last night, walking like he does, left his shoulders in the van. He's in there, like swimwear. Oh my God, I'm so good see, to see you. Right? <laughs> I've come in here as Daisy's ex. Met Daisy in Ibiza, pulled her, slept with her. Uh, straight away, she got a bit clingy and fell for me. Me and Daisy were just mates now, aren't we? Huh? I've heard that Daisy's been getting cracking on with people in there anyway, and the, my feelings towards Daisy didn't like her. She wants me more than I want her. I don't really want Daisy. So you don't want a banger? No, not no more. It's just a friends with benefits sort of thing. What is the actual issue with you and Matty so, then? A few things got said in the group chat. I'm going to have to pull him up on it when I get in there because he shouldn't have said I'm meant to be his mate. So Natalie comes back from the beach yesterday with a bit of bad news, if I'm honest. Sam's coming in, who's Daisy's ex. I've got a bit of beef with Sam from before. It's Sam. You look pissed off, to be I'm, fair. No, I'm pissed off because he's a, he's a bit of an idiot, if I'm honest. What's he been saying about you? Apparently that I'm a beg. So he comes in last night, walking like he does, left his shoulders in the van. He's in there, like swimwear. He comes in, walks straight past me, can't even look at me. The geezer sits down at the end of the table. I know he's seen me, but he just ain't got the arsehole to look at me. See, I've got a little issue, mate. A little? Come on, son. Slow down. Do you know what I mean? Well, if you want to, do you want to go have a chat about it? Yeah, we will and eventually. Go right, on, cool. introduce yourself first. Make yourself settle down, all right? All right, cool. The next minute I know, one of the birds has stuck their oar in and asked about mine and Sam's history. Not a good idea. The next minute, right, we stood there, effing and blind at each other across the table. This is going to take some fucking sorting out. It's a fucking headache already. I thought he'd come in as Daisy's ex, not fucking mine. We've got Daisy balling me up. Yeah. Telling me that you're calling me a beg. Right, Daisy. Uh, no, Daisy, shut the up. fucking no, noise. Don't I'm, don't shut talk. your fucking noise. I'm speaking. Fuck up, you what? Sit I'm down, you fucking talk. lump. Me and ex on the beach. Nothing gets sorted out in private, so it was all guns blazing, rowing in front of everyone. Why are you standing up, getting Larry? What? All you tried to do was chirp in the group chat. No, I didn't chirp. Well, you, you were in you the, you were in the group chat. Once Sam put his toys away, he finally pulled me to one side and asked for a chat in a room, which is all I wanted in the first place. We've gone in there, the geezer could not wait to apologise. I apologise calling you a beg. OK, it's sweet, it's sweet. You're going to apologise to him more. No, all right, because I'm not a beg. At the end of the day, me and Matty were mates, good mates as well, not just acquaintances, good mates. Before this happened, and was together all the time in the summer, virtually every day in Ibiza, we both did a season together. So, the adult thing to do was to sit down and just sort it out. He's my pal at the end of the day. He might have slagged me off, but if he's come to me and told me the reasons and apologised, I don't hold grudges. Let's just crack on and have a blinder.